something has gone wrong with my inverter. It's a bit frustrating, so it's 12.32. It's been wrong all day. I just thought that it wasn't reporting back properly. Um, hmm. Don't really know. I think probably what I need to do is shut it down and restart it. Uh, history. Error log. Bat volt low. Uh, what does that mean? 15th, 3rd, 8th, 36. 1, 2, BMS initial fault. BMS loss, that's February, so that's nothing. That's today. BMS internal fault. And then 15th, which is today. Yeah, bat volt low. BMS internal fault. What's this happening here then? Well, that looks all good to me, but it's flashing red. Oh, shoot. Okay. Don't really know, but let's. Um, so it hasn't been getting any solar. Let's just power it off a second. And then we'll power it back up in a second. Let's see what this is doing. So that's still there. Hmm. Okay, this is a new one on me. Let's turn it back on again. Okay, that appears to be flashing. And then we got a flashing red there. Let's click, 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 click. Okay, now that's back on, and it's working again. Okay, slightly concerning. <laughs> okay, good job we went away on a holiday for a week. So I think that now is fine. So that's no longer red, 49%. I'll keep a watch of that, see what happens. It's no longer red on there. Let's go and check the dashboard. Okay, now it's reporting correctly. So as you'll see the images I put on the screen now, I took these earlier on, so oh, that's odd, that's not reporting properly. Something a bit odd with that. Uh, this wasn't reporting, this wasn't reporting, that and that were. Um, but yeah, essentially, <laughs> it hasn't worked for four hours, so it hasn't been reporting back for about four hours, thought we now. 12. That's right, it went off about 8.30, didn't it, yeah. BMS went a bit jittery at about 8.30, so. It's now back to where it should be, but sadly, uh, yeah, sadly, whilst the oven and everything's been on, this hasn't been reported, but it's just been taking it from the grid. The reason I noticed was because this was reporting about two and a half, three kilowatts. And I was like, hey, that can't be right. We're at 12 o'clock midday. Uh, of course, what it was is because the system had failed. Ah, great. That's another little warning for you. So if you're running one of these systems, I say, good job we didn't go away for a week, wasn't it, or two weeks? Pointless. And uh, you always need like some sort of, that battery unit to be on some sort of smart reset. I don't know. Comment below if with those FoxQ batteries you can restart remotely. So they're shut off and shut back on again to correct that fault. Um, but I'll keep monitoring to see if that happens again. But power goes to the battery at the moment, we've got 880 watts, so this should start building back up again. Um, current battery use is 700 watts. The oven's on. Um, but hopefully it's now start going back up, but we've lost almost four hours worth of generation for today anyway, so. <sighs> Okie dokie. All right, comment below if you've had this before. Uh, comment below if you know a way of resetting the batteries remotely and then I'll know for future reference, especially if away from home. Um, but I would suggest getting your home assistant dashboard set up if you can, because then you'll be notified there's some issue. It was only because of this not reporting any figures that I decided to go and check and see exactly what's happening on the hardware after resetting this and it not solving it. I thought my home assistant might have bugged out, but it wasn't. It was an actual hardware issue, so yeah. See ya.